Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazayas here from the Automator, and we got a really interesting tool. We have this isn't ready to share yet, but I wanted to demonstrate it and get some thoughts from some of you guys of how you might also might use it because I think the, it, there's so many things we can do with this. So, a while back, I was talking to a buddy of mine, Mike, um, that does market research, and he was like, "Hey, you know, could we use AutoHotKey to maybe use with connection to OBS to record my messages and then?" transcribe them and get summaries of them because blah, blah, blah. We won't go into the reasons. And I'm like, well, you know, we, we probably could, you know, or we have a tool like with the base model, um, you can record microphones or whatever, but mixing audio sounds is a little bit more complicated. Um, so first off, and actually Zay's had the idea of like, well, instead of using the bass model, we do so much with FFmpeg. Why don't we use FFmpeg to record the audio? And I'm like, okay, fine. And I asked Claude to record that. Uh, to create that tool for me, and it got at me really close. There was some interesting stuff about killing the FFmpeg to stop it from recording, but we worked that out. And then I said, okay, now let's work, because you had been, as I said, been working on the API class we have for working with ChatGPT. And I'm like, hey, in there, there's the Whisper. Now, Whisper used to be an entirely separate thing, right? Now, in their API, we can submit files, MP3 files, and have them transcribed for you. So I yeah. said, why don't we, hey, you know what? If we, first off, we did make it where you can hold down a key, talk, let go. It sends the MP3 file to ChatGPT, transcribes it for you and returns it back really yeah. quick, right? Okay, that's one, that's a separate tool. Very cool. This right. next one, I said, you know what? Because usually Mike and other people, they'll have videos that they've recorded, right? Why don't we make it easy to push that video in and get it summarized? And I know you can do this on like ChatGPT itself, but it's also kind of time consuming and you, it's not custom, right? So that's what inspired what we're looking at now, where we can drag a video onto this tool and then it gets, first off, our tool rips because you don't want it, those videos are, uh, do you remember how the file size difference of yeah, the video yeah, yeah. versus the audio? Yes. So basically the... I just got an, an MP4 video that was like 30 megabytes. And when I just ripped the audio by itself, it's just like five megabytes by itself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's so, without so, doing a lot yeah. of other, we, we talked about, we could make it mono, which should probably cut that in half. Right. And even right. try Opus, I think was the other one. Maybe the compression is a little for better. Math. But yeah, the compression yeah. format. Right. So, and, and, and let me confirm something because this is something that I'm not 100% sure. You said, you said that this is possible, right? But here's the thing. If we're talking about somebody who has a lot of meetings and he wants to record a meeting and now he has a file, right? Now that file usually is very big. You cannot just grab that file and upload it to ChatGPT because it's going to tell you that there are some file limits. And that's part of the reason why we're trying to do to build a tool. And also, for example, if it is a YouTube video, you cannot just simply transcribe a YouTube video. I have tried. I gave him, I've given the URL to ChatGPT, but Google restricts ChatGPT from accessing the videos. Well, so there's a just URL. You have to download the file first, right? No, there's a there's a Chrome extension you can use for any public video. So I have that and I can right, get but that's, that's what I meant. Like it is an extension, right? Yeah. But it is not ChatGPT. ChatGPT oh, it itself. Is. Oh, yeah. no, like if yeah, you go it's to not from ChatGPT, but it uses ChatGPT. It submits it to it. Right, it uses the API, yeah. which is what you're doing in this one, right? But the point is, they have to first have the video file, which sure. is what we're talking about here. Well, hold on. That. Hold on. That's where also I was talking to Mike about was we don't think right now they literally have the video file, right? They get the subtitle. Yeah, the video the stream. Right, but exactly. It's, but it's the subtitles, right. right. Because it's a right. whole thing with the vision, and we talked about we could do that yes. as well, but that's not where we're at right now for most things. Right. Yeah. And, and, and basically, if you're recording a meeting, you probably don't have subtitles either. So, so basically, you cannot do what the other tool is doing. So in the end, and this is the part that you told me, hey, let's have something that we can then send the audio to ChatGPT, which right. that we can send. And from there, we can extract the the what we need. And this is what we're going to show now. Um, I'm going to be sharing my screen. If you can see here, this is actually what the tool looks like. It starts Wait, off. This is where it's actually have to go like this. Look, nothing up my sleeves. <laughs> right. we're, this, we're really going to do it. Right? Here, right? Yeah. This is so real world. Right. 
Now, the cool thing, we added something that is not 100% needed, but it was a cool idea. It's just, we're going to have the video being displayed here, and I will show you why in a bit. So here you can drop any file, and we're mentioning files because I think you can drop an audio file as well, right. and that doesn't exactly. matter, right? So it could be right. an audio file or a video. And let me just drag one in here. This is six minutes long, and it is 30 megabytes. Now, if you try to upload this to ChatGPT on their website interface, they will tell you that there's a file limit, if I remember right. I even tried to pass the video itself through the API, and they tell, told me that I cannot pass more than 20 megabytes. I think it is. But at this point, the tool is converting this to audio first, and then it will send the audio to the transcription service, which is with, with Whisper. After that, it's going to create a summary as well. And once that is done, then all of this so, is going to update. While it's processing, let's talk about the JSON file, because there were two, at least there's a lot of different ways you can do it, right? But in talking to you, we could have just gotten the transcription without all the other timestamps and everything, right? right? Which would cost us less, quote unquote, money, but it, we don't have the minutia of the timestamps of when people said what. Right, exactly. And as you can see, the process is about a minute. It's not that long. Of course, it depends on the file size, right? right. So just keep that in mind. But this is the thing. We created this little summary here, and we're using this reach edit control to make it a oh. look a little bit better. Hold on, Let, let's, to make sure they understand. Our tool has a prompt that says, hey, create a summary for us and provide bullet points about the video, right? So right. Just, just to clarify, we- There's a little bit of a prompt in there, right? Yeah. And then we have a format on how we want it displayed, right. um, which has the summary at the top, the conclusion, and some key point points. But this, by default, is not possible with the edit controls in our hotkey. I just wanted to point that out. This with the colors and the bolding, I have to manually do that with a reach edit control. That makes it good, uh, a little bit easier to, to see. Now, we have to be careful with this because um, at least with the summary, specifically with the summary, it kind of like um, hallucinates sometimes. <clears throat> this video is six minutes long, but it's telling me that at minute seven, it did something. The description is correct. The timestamp is wrong. But the one at the bottom with the transcription, right. I've never had a problem with this. This always gives me not only the transcription. What, what I had troubles with the, transcri the transcription was if it read the name, uh, if it didn't hear it correctly, it would put a weird name in here. Like, your name, it was butchering it. And yeah, mine, sure. of course, as usual, it was yeah. doing something. Both of us. Yeah. But so what I in my prompt, I said these are very common names: Joe Glines, um, Rizwan, Irfan, Isaiah. And if you find something that sounds like that, use those instead. And so that I had no problems with it. Like it's very clean. But here's the cool part: when you double click in one of these comments, as we do have the timestamp, we can jump in the, the file object. To that and so. System. We had a couple of problems with the file object and Isaiah was helping. Very cool that I can just. I just saw the hotkey channel out there. Have a great day. Cheers. Just jump to the location of that particular comment, right? And we, what we did is that we skipped one second behind, right? Just to get a little bit of a context before that comment. And that's I great. Am, you can yeah. just use to specific parts of the video, but that's not it. That's not the point of the tool. The point of the tool is that you can search. As right. you can see at the top, then you can say, Which, right. And now right. you can filter this just to those sections of the video where we have mentioned that word, which is something that you cannot really do. For example, if you go to YouTube, you can search for videos, but you cannot search within the videos with text. You would have to go to Google to do that. Yeah. I think Google does that. But again, we have a tool that on local files, because that's the part that is more difficult. Yeah, you have a file. Right. Maybe you recorded it oh. and maybe somebody sent it over. Now you can use ChatGPT and search and have a summary of it. So, so two two more things we talked about adding on. So this was just the, the very raw, bare bones of where we're going, right? The first one, which... We have a tool we've been working on, and I think next week we'll probably release it or get close to it with the quick raw edit, 
where you can very quickly edit a video based on two points and keep a continuous section, right? Right. Here, yeah. you could be able to select, you know, a, a first and another one and then hit a button and it will actually create that MP4 video or whatever type of video file for you Just that section. In, yeah. in a couple seconds, like a crazy, you know, short time. So if it, we probably have to have it to uh, those you'd want, or we could probably give it the content back to AI and ask it to summarize it and give us a logical name for it, right? Like maybe even use AI to create the file name for it uh, based right. off of what was said during that time period. But that's a cool one. The other one, and actually, by the way, I was going to say, I think we need to move the search below the summary in between the two. Okay, yeah. I since see. We're not filtering on the summary, right? So it would make more right. sense. No, we're not. Yeah. Right. But the other one was some people, like my buddy Mike, he has a lot of, he does a lot of um, focus groups and interviews and stuff. <laughs> so they might want a tool that goes across, all, be dumping this stuff into a database so they could be searching and because they can't always remember what video they were in or who or whatever, like having one, you know, a searchable database that goes across the video. So they've done through, gone through and, and transcribed and kept notes on, so not notes, but um, to have that. I think that'd be really cool. Um, and then there was actually one more. Oh, oh, yeah. The other one, which, as you mentioned, Isaiah, we both see it all the time. Our names get butchered. Auto Hotkey itself gets butchered. Yes. So yeah. we probably would have a dictionary, so to speak, of terms that frequently when they come back, you when you find this, replace it with that. And then yeah. also they might want to go ahead and be able to edit this, so to speak. So have a search and replace within this tool. Like, hey, you know, every time you find this word, replace it with that word. Because um, if you're giving stuff to a client, you don't want it to have, you know, really bad things in there. That is true. So kind of like a clean up tool. Yeah, right. Exactly. That goes and fixes some of them. Um, but I, one of the things that I was uh, thinking about how I would use this tool is like, okay, it is a one hour long um, meeting. Um, but I remember that I said cheers. So I'm going to look for the word cheers. Okay. So that was at 27. Okay. And then in the end, we did talk about pointers. The last point that I talked about pointers was at 145. Now I have the time frame where that happened. Now I can just go ahead and say, oh, okay, so from uh, this point to 145, that's what I need from the meeting. Uh -huh. Now let's hit export. But but the, the fact that I remember certain keywords. Right, exactly. Just right. Figure out what the time frames between the two is. This is the part of the meeting that I care about. Now let's export it. And that's the part that you said, Joe, like, hey, let's have a button to trim. Yeah. And then we just create this little section. And I just watch that section. You know, like, I don't have to watch the whole thing, <laughs> you know, to, um, because usually meetings, when you uh, and, and when you have meetings with different types of departments, like each department gets, it does its own report. So yeah, you, I don't care about that one department. I just want to listen to what this department had to say. Right, right. And basically, it is kind of like a quick way. And, and we're targeting well, specifically people who have the videos already in their computers because I think there are tools that do what we're describing in other online tools. But then you have to pay for those kind of things. Yeah. You already have videos. Yeah, just do this, right? Well, and, and they'll still have to pay, right? Because they'll get their API key and update it. We haven't done that yet part here, but... Um, you'll have to put in your, in our example, because Whisper is definitely still the best that we know of as far as is a, right. um, of a transcription tool. Um, we would use that. However, maybe the you might like Claude yeah. for oh. your summary. We could have it do the summary, you know, use use the, right. the, the audio to transcription service, but we can take that, that and push that into any AI tool we care to um, and right. get a summary from other tools as well. And not only that, it's just like the 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 cost for this is very low when we're using oh, the yeah. API. Yeah. Like it is really, really cheap. So this looks like something that sounds um like a great tool for people who already have the videos in their computers and they do not want to go through the hoops oh. of having the premium service of chat GPT or stuff like that. That can be very expensive in the long run, right? Well, also, um, and we talked about this, you could have, you know, let's say we work, well, here. obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, because your English is so good, but 
if you weren't at, well, let's let's stick with Urfan and, and Rizwan. Um, they're sometimes better in Urdu, right, as opposed to English. Yeah. We could have a translate button and have it swap out everything into their language with the timestamp and everything, like jumps right to it. And Jesus, in not too long in the future, we could have it actually report, replace the audio in our voices in their language. Like that, you know, that's not here yet, but it will I be think, I think I've seen services that do that. Yeah, like, right. And I think in the hero group, they sent a video regarding that, like the, they make this, they record the video once and then they have AI translated in different yeah. But languages. in their voice, well, in the other language, with their own speak. voice, right, yeah, exactly. It's, 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 it's amazing. Yeah. Another one <laughs> we, we talked about was we could say, hey, tell in the prompt, keep track of each speaker and number them speaker yes. one, speaker two, speaker three, and which one said what. And in here, we could have a tool that would say, oh, speaker one, I know that was this person. Speaker two, I know it was that person. And then have it go through it. Yeah. yeah, and replace that. So it's easier to know who said what, right? Which would be really and cool. Probably even filter by that. Show me everything exactly. that you've right. in, in that video. Right. You know, like, that would yeah. be amazing. you're like, I don't give a shit what Joe said. I want to hear what people, you know, <laughs> smart people said, right? So you can filter. No, seriously, though, right? Sometimes you're like, no, 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 right. it's more on the topic. Those people were talking to me. I have no interest in what they were talking about, right? So I only want to focus on, you know, this. Again, if you're talking about departments and stuff in a meeting that yeah. has different departments, this person represents that department. Well, I just want to listen to this one person because I know that he's going to give me the report right. that I'm looking for. Well, so it is a great idea. And with a little bit of practice, this is where you'd say once you realize and start using this tool, you know, you could just have in your 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 layout in the meetings to say, hey, you know, mention you have keywords that mention beginning section IT, right? And then yep. the AI could be looking for those things and actually break it into even separate videos. We can automatic automatically do that, right? Um, because it it makes it really easy when you have one big video it's just cumber that's why we break up our hero calls into two hours right we could record them just once but then it's it's harder to find stuff right that's that's exactly so this and this took you basically a day right or somewhere in there oh, yes. but we had a lot of the pieces already right like that was why we have been you spent some time last week on updating our AI eyes yeah, Actually, I just tested it and they changed something else today. Like I was like, it broke. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how is that? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we took a little time on the OpenAI tool specifically, but this window, the window media player that was built by, well, not built. So he had built, this one had worked with the quick raw edit tool. So anything that I was gonna do with this, I just looked at his code and I was like, oh yeah, so that's how you play. That's how you pause. That's how you add a video into it. So that was already there. Um, list views, rich edit controls. We have worked on those with the subtitle search. And actually this functionality right here with the search and putting this up, like that was basically from the search, the subtitle search tool that we were kind of like thinking about it. And then it was just a matter of making the, the the chat GPT do whatever we were expecting. Because again, I spent a little bit more time getting it to give me the transcription and the summary in the correct way because it was hallucinating a lot. And I still get a little bit of a hallucination, yeah. but that's the most that I can do. Like I, I already set some settings for it to the lowest I well, can make it. So to and this is where I'd say maybe Claude will do a better job. It, it clearly for other things, it's been crazy good. Right? Be very good, right? That's 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 true. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you learned something, and also if you have other ideas of what we might do with something like this, because it's really getting insane with with you know the it as I was saying the other day when we we're practicing with WebSim, it's good. It's coming down where it's much more of your imagination than it is your skills. Right. Yeah. Like it's it's we're getting to a point where we can you have an idea and you can build a tool, you know, very rapidly. That idea that you just told me, like, hey, how about we trim it? Is I, I just say like I'm just gonna go to chat GPT. What is the FFmpeg command that I need to use? I put it in here as a button and right. we're done. It is like five minutes. It's it's it's, it's more about having the idea and yeah. asking to do it. That's it. Well, and thankfully, because we're 
for a lot of these things that we mentioned that we're doing with the video and audio that we're using FFM big because it's a cr- insanely powerful tool and it's yeah. very, very well documented. So AI knows it really well. And so it can yeah. help us do a lot of the stuff. Definitely. So there All you right. go. Thanks everyone. Have a great Bye. day. Bye.